All right, guys, today what we're doing is we're at a several hundred acre old strip pit. And at the very end of it, it has a concrete ramp that goes down. During rains, the water goes down this ramp and during periods of no rain, it doesn't. Right now it's going down it, at least somewhat. It was more probably the other day, but it goes down. It's about a 20 degree incline and about separated by 30 feet or so. But on the bottom of that concrete is another strip pit about five acres in size. And there is no way for anybody else to get to this lake. A boat cannot get to it, and there's no roads that go to it. The only way you can get down there is during periods of high water in a kayak or canoe. And you slide it down to that secondary, what I call it, a spillover lake. That's be the best term for it. An overflow lake. And so, basically what we're facing here is... Low, low fishing pressure due to people very having a very limited access. We came here yesterday and fished all day and my memory card crashed on the camera. Luckily I had a spare one with me so the only footage I caught is what will be later in this video. That's why you see us wearing different clothes. I caught everything from about 5.30 until dark but everything from before that the rest of the day was all lost because my micro sd card and my camera crashed and deleted all my files for no reason we caught saw guy which this is stocked with bunches of crappie that were all 13 to 15 inches big bluegill big bass and I managed to catch a 15 pound buffalo on a crappie jig with four pound line. And she caught a common carp in the eyeball with a crappie jig. So there's some good variety down here. We're hoping to get another saw guy today and some of those slab crappie. This time we're equipped with minnows. So what we gotta do is we're gonna paddle down here. Also my trolling motor went out on me yesterday the same day as my camera so talk about a, a a bad day all in one we got about a 30 minute paddle to get down to this overflow we're going to get down there and drag that canoe down so stay tuned have a good feeling now we've kind of learned this place and what they bite and what they don't we should get on some decent fish today Not easy. I gotta drag it completely over concrete in certain spots. Here's the overflow lake, and it's about it's only about 50 feet away from each other, and it only drops down, like I said, about 10 feet. Like I said, during the summer when it don't rain for a whole week, this is completely bone dry. Tear up the canoe a lot more. At least right now it's half and half, half wet and half dry. And the bottom part's the worst. Oh man. Now I need to go to the left, don't I? Halfway done.
you wouldn't believe what she caught this on a, a red wiggler in a split shot no bobber whatsoever makes no sense it had to be falling and it, and it seen that worm fall but anyway yeah i didn't catch her reeling it in uh my memory card was full and uh oh my god You're almost gonna have to cut the line. Is that a jig head or a regular hook? Regular hook. You're gonna have to cut it. He's 16 inches. It beats the one you got out of Bingo. Careful. No, 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 no. I haven't got the cord yet. You can get good photos. Guys, 16 inch white crappie male on a red wiggler and split shot with no bobber my only theory is it's seen it falling as it was falling to the bottom we're in 30 foot of water here but it's only about 10 in front of us she was actually just trying to catch a bluegill come straight at you oh my god that is a giant crappie hold on a minute hogs right there guys my goodness If he gets in that anchor rope, I'm screwed. Oops. Oh. Oh my. I can't tighten my drag, that's what's up. You got full now. Oh, he's barely hooked, man. Yeah, he's barely hooked. He's gonna get out. No, barely hooked. No, he's so good. Oh, he's in it. Put your hands on the door. Jesus. I got it guys. <laughs> 15 pound smallmouth buffalo, are you pointing at me? Film me, not everything else. 
15 pound smallmouth well, buffalo but gonna see the fish. on a crappie dig. I'm going to take him off first. What a buffalo. Four pound crappie line, a one inch grub with a one eighth ounce jig head. Fishing for crappie. <laughs> That is a nice smallmouth buffalo, if I've ever seen one the way I caught it. It's the biggest one I've ever caught on a crappie jig for damn sure. I should leave it. Put it's it in the cooler or no? Is it gonna too much? It's too big. You sure you got me good? You should read it. Weigh it, it's about mm -hmm. 15 pounds. That was luck. I cannot believe I caught him on that line without it breaking. That shows if you use your drag properly, guys, you fight a fish properly with the right drag, you do not need heavy line all the time, except for toothy. When a fish that have a lot of teeth, I would have never had a prayer with a big pickerel or a walleye or anything, but luckily, buffalo have a very smooth mouth. Oh, I've got to turn off and turn back on, guys. Oh, yeah. Big crappie. Yes. Big slab. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I can barely even turn, I can't even turn his head, guys. It's that big of a crappie. Holy smokes. Stay on there, buddy. We are ignorant and didn't left the dip net at home. Oh my God. Oh, he's easily two pounds. God, it's hard to leave, man. Do you care if you paddle in the dark, complete dark? <laughs> I know we can't though, I know. Guys, these little one inch grubs, white and chartreuse with a just a little jig head are killer in this lake. We really didn't catch fish on anything else. I caught the walleye, buffalo, bass, and crappie all on this. All right, don't move. Guys, what a crappie. <laughs> I think he's 15. Probably. What a hoss. I like black crappie better. I like white. I just think they look cool when they're big. I like black crappie when they're about 12 inches. But them whites when they get... Guys, when, when I hooked him, I knew exactly what it was as soon as I sent the hook. I couldn't even turn his head. He was so big, man. Yes. I think I may have a bluegill. Nope. He's whoa, black. Black crappie.
dying. Now we're starting to realize they're mixed. It's got them. That means there will be hybrids in it. There's this many mixed. Nice crop, you guys. Sucks the fish are biting so good I don't want to leave. We already stayed 10 minutes longer than we're supposed to. Will was on a big buffalo here, guys, I think. Yeah, she is. I'm gonna have to help her. It's a buffalo. Just get it over get it over here and I'll grab him. Get him by this tarp. Is that braid? Yeah, it's a braid. Okay. She's got a big one, guys. On a crappie jig? Or what was on that? The grub? She got this on a crappie jig too, guys, just like I did. Oh my. Guys, there's a little pit that empties into this pit and there it's current washing in. This rain helped the fishing really, didn't it? We wouldn't have been we wouldn't have caught a lot of the fish without this heavy rain. My gosh, the big one. There's still another one sitting there too. Yeah. You should get the meat. That's actually a carp. It's a carp. I think no way. If it's a carp, then you got him foul hooked. He wouldn't have bit a crappie jig. Very rarely. No, I don't have the net at all. I left it at home. It is a carp. common carp and you don't have him fair hooked you hooked him in the head Put him here. No, no water. you hooked him in the head my gosh That's he that explains it guys we thought she had a buffalo because the odds of getting a carp on a crappie jig are real slim all right you need to hold him up <laughs> before he gets grass all over him Yeah, it looks better this way, actually, with the lake behind you. Good job. Yeah. Man, move his tail out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. It makes it look longer. There you go. Now look at me again. Yeah, it's about three pounds, almost four. Okay. <laughs> Goodness, we caught some good kinds today. We did good. All right, guys, that ends this episode, or so we think. I got to get the van loaded. Yes, bluegill. Oh, well, at least I can get them. I probably won't get a buffalo. That's a nice bluegill in here, guys. Real nice. They're all eatable. Every one I've seen so far. Or sevens, anyway. Not bad. Like to come here and just fish.
fish for them sometime. Oh yeah. my, he's 12 though. On a bobber and minnow, guys. Really nice crappie. That's the biggest black we've seen out of here then. The whites are just gigantic. Tur turn your arms to the, yeah, there you go. It's a nice one. I need to zoom, let me zoom. Turn him a little that way. His body, to no, his body to toward you. The top of him, you got him bent out. Uh, there you go. It's a nice crappie. Heck yeah. There we go, guys. Good start. Finally. It took a while. No, we're just throwing them back. It's all right. I need a minnow. Gosh, she's got a big old bluegill here. Let me see him. It's a nice one. He might be a full eight. It's a big walleye. No, channel cat. Dang, it had me fooled. That's still a nice fish though. Oh, yeah. Let me just, uh, let me get out. <clears throat> That's a nice fish. My goodness. He's three pounds anyway. <coughs> Oh my. Guys, she caught a nice. Oh, it's blinking. Come on, come on, come on. It's blinking. She just caught a nice, about a two or three pound channel cat. Up with the tail. You're, you got the fish like this. A little up. Hold him. Not bad. <laughs> kind of holding him funny. You need to put. Your hands right around the bit behind from behind the fin and under the belly. It's blinking. Come on. There you go. That's a nice catfish. It's a really nice catfish, guys. All right, I got to change my battery. They're starting to pick up then. A little bit, ain't they? What? You got another catfish. All right, guys, I think she's got another channel cat. Huh. Really? Oh my God. What the hell the hell, we have not, boy, this was a bad day, guys, but th there was a short afternoon bite, or evening bite. You're five foot deep. A nice black. No whites today. What's nice the deal? Night. Yeah, it's a nice black, guys. Looks like a female. Not bad. Where was that at? Over there? Toward the right? Swallows. Yeah. They're swallows. Hello. 
All right, guys. Got me a saw guy. He inhaled that thing. I cannot even see my lure. This guy bit five times in one throw for me to get him. Sure is. Got me a saw guy. All on the suicide shed. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. It's the only way I can get it, though. Ow. All right. Not a bad start, guys. And we don't really like fishing the main lake, but we're at the very end of it before it goes down the spillway. And I said heck with it and threw it a couple times in these bushes along here. Got me a saw guy. He's about 14, 13. Told you I seen some activity through here. I bet you it's because of all the bushes. Honey, twice. That's twice I've gotten one of these. <laughs> you know what that means too, don't you? You know what this means, right? That the fish are biting better today or this wouldn't have bit. That's a sure sign right there. Awesome. Heck yeah, man. I just can't wait till those get seven pounds. Those saw guy will get up to seven pounds. Got one. Got another one. Oh my god guys these fish really turned on today compared to yesterday i just caught two of them two of these saw guys in a five minute period he's a little bigger about an inch bigger oh my god i'm glad i come here today guys two of them they're only 13 inches right now but hey <laughs> Oh my. All right guys, I'm gonna get her back in. Oh, I never would have thought I caught two of these in one day here, man. Another one. Oh my gosh, guys, three of them. Three saw guys. Ah, guys, this Barbie suicide shad is one is is my top walleye bait. Three walleye. Oh my god, look at that spotted gar. He's two he's three foot long. Oh, that's two of them. Never mind. It was two of them. Alright, guys. Three saw guy back to back. Guess I'm doing a slow retrieve. There's the hill or something that comes down here too. You can tell there's kind of a point right here below us because of the way the weeds look. Look at the way the weeds curve. That means there's a hill that goes down. There's kind of like a ridge. Got another one. Oh, I don't know. This ain't a walleye. Oh my God. Guys, we are on fire. Oh, he was 20 inches, wasn't he? That's a big one. That was a big one. That had to, they, that had to be an old one. Guys, he was a 20 incher. They're really biting, ain't they? I just missed the biggest walleye I've had in a long time, guys. I knew right when I hooked him it felt different, so there is some big ones in here already. 
Oh my God. Got him. <clears throat> Not a walleye though, right below the freaking canoe. Right below it. He didn't get on to the very end. Guys, I think I know what lure I'm gonna use today. <laughs> this thing catches everything. You just can't go wrong with the pink, the purple, the chartreuse, and the white. It's just a it's crazy and it sticks out and fish see that and go, what the hell is that? And I think that's why it does so good. It is officially my favorite lure, at least for now. I gotta order some more. We only got a couple left. Nice white crappie, guys. About 10 inches. <laughs> we haven't even went down the thing yet. Ain't you glad we stopped here? Frickin' had four saw guys hooked and caught a crappie. We just need to paddle around this whole thing from here to the end. Instead of anchoring, just keep moving around. That way we're covering different little spots and nooks and crannies. To the right, this is getting ridiculous. <clears throat> I don't know what it's doing. First off, I gotta get my poles down so I can anchor on the tail and not on the side. That's our problem. Yeah, good job, honey. All right, I'm gonna get us moved. It's not working like this. The problem is I gotta get my poles out. Yeah. Oh my god, you oh my god. It's not really hook. Yeah, I noticed. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a big one. He's four. Oh. Guys, we have had the worst day. We started off, we caught five fish in ten minutes, and then nothing for five or six hours. Finally. Right before to on that Barbie suicide shed again. What a tank. He's four. Showing up good. What a absolute tanker, guys. I am lucky I got him. Now I see why people come in this cove. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was hung on her line. What a tank, guys. Nice strip pit largemouth right there. A little disappointed because I thought I had a giant walleye like I missed earlier, but it's alright. Nice Why bass. You far away. Nice bass. Heck yeah, man. Woo! <laughs> Don't move for a minute. Guys, what a bass. Now that's what I came for. At least something. been the worst day. What a haul.